Okay. Maybe it starts right now. Okay. okay. Me with the ice and a drink. Frankie White and the Dead Idols. Ooh. First question I shall ask is where does that name come from? Where does the name come from? Yes. You get asked that question a lot. Um, well, my name's in there, so that's the first half. So you, your name really Frankie? Yeah. Why Frankie? Why not Frankie? <laughs> Rock and roll, baby. <laughs> that's cool. And then the second half and the Dead Idols. I listen to a lot of bands like... Um, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band and, and all those bands that kind of have that kind of name and, and the Dead Idols. I kind of wanted something heavier, kind of like I listened to a lot of Alice Cooper and a lot of Kiss, so I wanted to combine kind of the Of darker, course, Kiss. Yeah, the Dark Earth is the old school name, so that's, that's where it came from, I guess. Yeah. So name me a little bit of your band members. What was going on with the band? Uh, What's the influences? The influences? Uh, just old school 80s rock, kind yeah. of. Um, like Alice Cooper and Motley Crue, we get Motley Crue a lot. Um, Alice Cooper. Uh, yeah. This is a bass player. Uh, my name is Zach Aror Zachary O'Rourke or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so I, I, I actually just recently joined the band uh, like a few months ago right. or whatever. And uh, learning uh, like the bass parts and uh, it was really challenging because uh, Duncan Coots from Our Lady Peace actually uh, co-wrote some of the songs. Yeah. And uh, he wrote a lot, or played a lot of the bass lines on the album. So, been learning the bass lines, and I'm happy to be in this band. It's really awesome. Sweet. You must be really impressed that you're on the Kiss project tonight, for sure. and all this week. Yeah. You've been playing with Kiss for three nights. Well, uh, tomorrow will be our fourth. Our fourth. Yeah. Wow. So. What have you learned with the extreme? Greatness of Kiss. <laughs> to bring the show, yeah. basically. Yeah. They can they teach you a lot in that in that yeah. respect. Yeah. Uh, just to treat your audience well and to be professional and to seize the moment and that you have to rock out as hard as possible all the time. What would be your uh, influences in music, Frankie? Um, Kiss and uh, just you know Def Leppard. Let's pretend Kiss was in in the influence. Okay. Alice Cooper is my, like, no. Oh, okay. Band. Bruce Springsteen is up there, too. I love Bruce Springsteen. Uh, Tom Petty. Um, anything out of Los Angeles between 1984 <laughs> and 1986. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys uh, get to play with Ixlan Cross yet? Yeah, we played with them last summer, so. How was that? They're awesome. They're, they're all really nice They're a great guys. band. Yeah, they're tight. Yeah. And they're all really nice dudes, and they treated us really well. Um, and then I actually saw them again when they opened for Alice Cooper. Uh, they did the fall tour, I guess, last Yeah, in October. Yeah, it was really cool to see them do that, so. A cool line crush, just like growing up, and I remember seeing their music videos and stuff like that. Uh, and so it's really awesome. So it's uh, really exciting to be a part of, uh, of a festival like this. Yeah. And playing with Kiss and, and those bands like E. Coli and Crush. It's really awesome. Sure. I'm really looking forward to it. Where do you guys see yourselves in five years from now? In music? Opening five for Metallica years. or...? Yeah, <laughs> opening for another big band and, yeah. you know, the dream is to be able to do it yourself. Yeah. Right. Five years is, uh, is not a long time yeah. and it takes a while to build your own momentum. Yeah. So, op opening for another big band. Or being be a big band. Awesome. Or being a big band. <laughs> yeah, that's the dream, right? Yeah. That's what we're aiming for. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You always gotta aim high, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And come come to a show. When did that album come out? Uh, that was just pressed uh, a couple weeks ago, but it's been out on iTunes and all those digital online outlets. How's the sales coming out? Yeah, it's going well. It's going well. So we've been we're signed to a label called Forty by Sixty, and they distribute it right now, um, which is Duncan, our producer from Our Lady Peace. And um, yeah, it's brand new. Like I literally just got this into my hands two weeks ago. The actual final press copy prepare for these dates, so it's cool. I guess we'll find out how the sales go now. Yeah. Now that we have it. Yeah. In Ottawa, we got a chance to sign some CDs and meet some of the fans and stuff like that that were purchasing it. It was really awesome to see people's uh, reaction and stuff like that and to get out to a wider audience and see how that wider audience liked it. So it was really nice. Blackout, yeah, that's the one that's being played on the radio around in Toronto and ha, in America. Shall we have any videos uh, promoted on that? No, no videos yet. We have like our, we do our own videos. We right. do like weekly YouTube 
updates and stuff like that. Okay. But nothing officially made. Nothing for much made. music yet. No, not yet. No, All right. Made, so. Oh, yeah. We're kind of doing it ourselves right now. So, you know. All right. Yeah. Well, everybody, Frankie White and his dead idols. <laughs> <laughs> Very